Doctor, I have keratoconus and my cornea is only 320 microns thick. Can you still help me? And my answer is yes. If you ask me, what is the thinnest cornea I've ever treated with keratoconus? And the cornea was 220 microns thick. For now, we are the only group in the world that can do so, and this is backed up by science. Let me show you how. We call this new protocol the SUB400 protocol. I've been cross-linking for 19 years now, and initially uh, the first solution that came up to treat corneas thinner than 400, because the initial Dresden protocol for cross-linking stopped at 400, and this is the limit most groups still have to respect, the first attempt to cross-link down to 350, even 330 microns, came from our group. It was a paper published with me, with me as the first author, where we swallowed the cornea using hyperosmolaric riboflavin. Over the years, other techniques came up that also try to cross-link corneas between 300 and 400 microns of thickness. All these techniques have one thing in common, the efficacy is reduced by 30, even 40% when you compare it to standard cross-linking, and they all address the thickness of the cornea. They somehow manipulate the thickness. It would make so much more sense to manipulate the fluence, so the overall energy, which means that keeping it simple, in a standard cornea, we would cross-link down to a safety margin of 70 microns to the endothelium, to the back surface. And with our new approach and nomogram, we found a way to cross-link a 300 micrometer cornea down to 230, and even a 250 micrometer cornea still with a safety margin. This implies that we adapt the overall intensity, which is the fluence, for every single cornea. So it is an individualized protocol, we call it the SUB400. So the thinnest cornea I've been able to cross-link based on this quite complex calculations has been 220 microns, which is something that has, ha hasn't been done in, in the history of corneal cross-linking before. But once we have validated all our data, this will be public knowledge. For now, we are the only group that can treat that thin. I've been able to cross-link based on this 
quite complex calculations has been 220 microns, which is something that has, ha hasn't been done in, in the history of coronal crosslinking before. But once we have validated all our data, this will be public knowledge. For now, we are the only group that can treat that thin.